looking for the best budget defenders, well don't worry, the FPL guide has you covered. In this video we're going to be discussing the best defenders for 4.0 or 4.5 million and we'll be looking at Southampton Cedric, Brighton Shane Duffy, several players from Crystal Palace, West Ham's Declan Rice and Callum Chambers from Arsenal. First up, Cedric Suarez for 4.5 million. After a reasonable start to the season, Cedric and Southampton's form plummeted. From 3.7 attempted tackles per 90 minutes, by March he was making 1.9, and his crossing efficiency dropped from 30% to 19%. Hughes replaced Pellegrini in March, changing the system to a 3-5-2 and installing Cedric as a right wing back. Cedric under Hughes played 10 games, scored one goal, three assists, and they made three clean sheets as well. The take home from this is that Cedric is a nailed wing back in a resurgent team. Brighton's Shane Duffy at 4.5 is next. Among defenders, Shane is seventh in ICT index between Davis and Creswell, eighth for goal threat, 14th for bonus points. Brighton have strengthened in other areas of the pitch, which means he is nailed and uh, there should be less defending to do for Brighton this season. If his threat pays off and Brighton build on their 10 clean sheets, we could see a great return from Shane Duffy. West Ham's 19-year-old Irish defender was put on the right side of a back three in March by then manager David Moyes. This added pacey cover in behind the aging Zabaleta. New manager Manuel Pellegrini, far from dropping the youngster, has deployed Rice in a defensive midfield role. Due to the devil himself organising West Ham's opening fixtures, we will avoid him at the start of the season, and though he is playing slightly out of position, he will not get us attacking returns. West Ham's fixtures improve after game week 12, and we can return to look back at him then. For those of you who've seen my other videos, you will know a little bit about Crystal Palace due to the differential video on Jeffrey Schluck. Crystal Palace have made 8 clean sheets in the last 19 games, they have 5 playing defenders on the pitch, 3 under 5 million, they've started all their pre-seasons with this defensive lineup and a new goalkeeper might bring a little more stability, although Wayne Hennessy seems to be preferred. Wan Bissaka on the right, Sarko and Tompkins the centre-backs, Patrick van Aanholt on the left, with Jeffrey Schlub playing, playing out of position in the left midfield. The take home is, as long as uh, Zaha stays at Palace, and this looks increasingly unlikely given that he's refused a new contract wanting Champions League football, then Palace are a force. Should he leave, they could still do well defensively if Sarko is in the team. The take home here is that there are potential bargains in the Crystal Palace defence. Next we're looking at Callum Chambers. After a couple of decades Arsenal fans finally got their wish and Arsene Wenger has been ousted. New man Emery is currently in Singapore with his new team. It was noted by press at the training ground that his catchphrase is work hard. What was also noted was Socrates and Chambers pairing in a mock team. Mustafi and Holding lined up, however, against Atletico. With a new manager, this could be Chambers' chance. 4.5 million entry into a top six defense would be a no-brain. Against PSG, however, they did play different center backs in the first and second halves. One to keep an eye on. Which budget defenders are you going for? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching the FPL guide. Comment, like, and subscribe.